Hey folks, welcome back to How I Stand Now. So this year, 2023, we're switching up. We're coming in with something different. We're gonna go from zip code to zip code, and we're gonna show you the best of what Stand Now has to offer. So for this episode, the first one of the year, January 2023, we are gonna go discover 10301. So forget about talking about it. We're gonna go out there and we're gonna show you. We're gonna show you what Staten Island has to offer. So let's get out there and discover 10301. Let's go. 10301 encompasses neighborhoods like St. George, Silver Lake, Tompkinsville, and Sunnyside. It's the gateway to Staten Island from Manhattan because it's where both of our ferries are located. Of course, you have the original Staten Island Ferry, which is free. It will get you to downtown Manhattan in about 25 minutes. And now we have the Fast Ferry, which will get you to downtown Manhattan in 18 minutes and then Midtown in 35 minutes total. And that costs $4 per ride. If you're arriving to Staten Island via ferry, as soon as you get off, you'll be met with the Empire Outlets, which is New York City's first outlet mall. It's all beautiful, complete views of Manhattan, a ton of stores, a ton more coming, supposed to be a lot of restaurants coming, a uh, really cool project. You also have the Staten Island Ferry Hawks and their unbelievably beautiful ballpark right here as well. You have the Lighthouse Museum. And as you start to explore, you'll see restaurants, a steakhouse, buildings. It's very reminiscent of many other parts of New York City. The 120 Precinct is located right here as well. You have courthouses. Uh, Staten Island's courthouse was moved to 26 Central Avenue a couple years ago, this big, beautiful building. And right up the block from this, you have the infamous St. George Theater, opened up in 1929 and was most recently renovated in 2017. And there's a lot going on here. And as an added bonus, Enoteca Maria right next door is a restaurant with nonas or grandmothers that cook homemade meals. And it's definitely worth going to before or after a show. Staten Island's Borough Hall is right here as well. Beautiful building inside and out. If you can ever get inside, check it out. This area of Staten Island has many places where you can get unobstructed views of Lower Manhattan and the rest of the city. This park, for instance, it's just on the side of the street. You can just pull right in and you have this view of Lower Manhattan to yourself any time of day. Housing takes many different forms in this neighborhood, from high rises and apartment buildings to old historic homes. One's different than the next. And then, of course, you have colonials, new and old and semi-attached homes, attached homes and everything in between. Snug Harbor is one of Staten Island's biggest attractions, and it's right here in zip code 10301. It houses three museums, two art galleries, botanical gardens, six New York City landmarks. There's a two-acre urban farm. It's been here for 200 years. There's cool things like this igloo experience, big, beautiful ponds. There's the Chinese Scholar Garden. And most impressive to me was this World Trade Center Memorial. I didn't even know that this existed until I started making this video. It's a beautiful little building filled with artifacts from the site, pictures from that terrible day and the days that came afterwards videos there's just so much going on in this memorial and it's really really touching and i'd really recommend anybody go see it as you get deeper into staten island but still stay within the 10301 area code you come across silver lake park this is a huge huge park that was actually staten island's response to manhattan's central park and Brooklyn's Prospect Park. The immense lake that's the center point of the entire park was actually the end of the Catskill water supply. Water was piped down here from the Catskill Mountains, and this was a part of New York City's drinking water. This lake was actually potable or drinkable until 1971. The park, of course, has no shortage of amenities. There's tennis courts, basketball courts, baseball fields, playgrounds, dog parks, jogging paths. I mean, you name it, this park has it, including an 18-hole golf course. A creepy fact about this golf course is that this land once belonged to the New York Marine Quarantine Hospital, which was around at the end of the 1700s, early 1800s. And its purpose was to treat immigrants coming off of the ships and quarantine them if they were sick. And so many people died that they had to buy this land just to bury them. And then the golf course was actually built over it in the 1920s. 
And it's, uh, it's just very interesting that there's actually said to be thousands of European immigrants buried underneath this golf course, a lot of them being from the Great Irish Potato Famine. A lot of housing around here are big high-rises right across the street from the park, and then beautiful old colonials up and down hilly streets surrounding the park as well. As you keep going and eventually end up on Howard Avenue, you'll see huge houses, a lot of land, views of the city, views of the Verrazano, winding roads, really, really pretty. And you'll eventually end up passing two out of three colleges on Staten Island. One of them being St. John's University, which is actually closing in 2024 due to a massive decrease in enrollments. And then Wagner College, which was founded in the late 1800s and moved to Staten Island in the early 1900s. There's a lot of development going on in 10301. A lot of big buildings, a lot of high rises, a lot of stuff coming, some exciting projects. One project that's been here for quite some time now is the Bay Street Landing buildings. So it's a cluster of buildings located below Bay Street. It's secluded and it pretty much brought Manhattan style living to Staten Island. Uh, very cool. They all have beautiful views of the city. I'm lucky enough to have a listing there right now, 90 Bay Street Landing 6K, and I want to show you guys how you can live on Staten Island. Jose, where are we headed right now? Hey, Joe, we're going to one of our listings uh, right here at 90 Bay Street. 90 Bay Street Landing 6K. We're going to take you inside. Let's go. <laughs> As you can see, this beautiful condo, Manhattan-style living to the fullest, 24-7 doorman, crazy technology, views of the city, modern. I mean, there's nothing to, to dislike about this condo, and it's right here at 90 Bay Street Landing. Now, what I want to show you on the other end of the spectrum is another listing that we had last year, and this is still 10301. And look at this. This was a $1.5 million mansion up in Toad Hill. So 10301 covers most of Ocean Terrace, which winds through Toad Hill. So take a look at this listing real quick. Hey, Matias. Right by my side is Joseph Renola from Matias Real Estate. And today we're here to unveil our new listing right here on the hill. It's 15 Ocean View Lane. It's a massive center hall colonial and it uh, consists of over 3,600 square feet of living space. Hey, Joe, you got anything to add to that? Uh, as you can see, it's a stunning three-floor entrance. Uh, it's, it's magnificent when you walk in. There's five bedrooms, including a master suite. The master suite has cathedral ceilings. It's massive. Uh, it has views of the Verrazano Bridge. It has its own bathroom, four-piece bathroom, including a bidet walk-in closet it's just everything in this house is beautiful huge massive stunning and we can't wait to get you guys in there to see
that you found this episode to be entertaining as well as informative. If you should have any real estate questions regarding Staten Island or Staten Island in general, feel free to contact us at any time. The information is below. So remember, we cover 10301 to 10314 and beyond. We'll see you in the next episode.